So tonight I'm going to be making a recipe that used to be a favorite in the office when I would uh, take it there. And it was a, a, a cheesy chicken macaroni casserole, but now I'm going to have to change that up because we have some substitutions that as opposed to using you know, the macaroni noodles, uh, be dicing up eggplant uh, for that. So still the cheese, still the chicken. Uh, but it's a few substitutions as you'll see, and hopefully it'll turn out and become a favorite just like it used to be. I will uh, share the original recipe at the end of the video. You know, I'll have a, a can I post the you know, the ingredients up there. Um, but as you see, uh, what we've got here for tonight is uh, I've cut up two cups of chicken. Um, that I've already baked, and it was frozen chicken, which, you know, I actually, uh, you know, I've, I've found some really good frozen chicken that's uh, kind of nice and easy to cook up, um, and that way I'm also not wasting it by having, you know, fresh chicken that, uh, you know, if I don't get to it in time, things like that, it's already frozen, so we're, we're good to go. Um, I've got a large uh, eggplant that will be substituting for the noodles, I will be using two ounces of uh, diced pimento, so this whole little jar, and you know, just drained. Uh, be using four ounces of chopped uh, mushrooms. The recipe calls for one teaspoon of curry powder, but I really like curry, and uh, really I found that it's kind of nicer to have a sort of extra little, you know, curry kick in there. And so I, I mean, I kind of eyeball, but it probably ends up closer, not maybe not quite two teaspoons, but you know, somewhere in that vicinity. Um, another substitution I'm making is that as opposed to using a a ten and a half ounce can of cream of chicken soup, I have dissolved a uh, a chicken bouillon cube, uh, a reduced sodium version. Uh, into some water now. I certainly not going to be using the whole cup that uh, that you use for for uh, making up the broth. Um, you know, I've just I've poured up the broth that could be used either in other recipes or kind of as a treat. You know, for my dogs to put a little bit in their in their dog food. They they love that. Uh, so the substitution I'm making is with that you know a little bit of broth along with the plain Greek yogurt. Um, we'll be using almond milk. And then um, be using, I think we use a little bit more than a cup of cheese. And actually, when I've made this recipe before, I usually, you know, might, might have had, you know, two or maybe three uh, kinds of cheeses on hand. Uh, this time I don't. I just have one. It's kind of a mild cheddar. Uh, but you know, it's kind of nice to even blend uh, some cheeses. So you could try that out. Just sort of whatever you might have on hand um, with cheese. You know, the thing, like I said, with, with recipes is, you know, even though you've got this sort of how-to in front of you, you know, play with it. Uh, you know, change things up and experiment and make things to your liking, okay? Uh, something, too, I want to add about the cheese is, you know, I, I'm somewhat lactose intolerant. And so uh, what I've learned, though, is that the harder cheeses, like the cheddars, um, they... Uh, have a such a low lactose count that uh, they're they're pretty tolerable um, for for quite a few people with with uh, who who have problems with lactose. So uh, maybe kind of give it a try, see how you do with it. Uh, it's when it gets kind of blended with other kinds of cheeses or milk or things like this. You know, if you if you have something like a cheese dip, right? That's been you know thinned out a lot, and so then lactose ends up back in it. Um, but also, you know, if you have some of your softer cheeses, white cheeses like mozzarella, things like that, uh, that, that you run into a, uh, a bit, you know, especially like with pizzas, things like that. Then that's when you're going to have problems with uh, with lactose. So, um, you know, if you if you do have lactose intolerance, try out some of these harder cheeses like cheddar. Uh, and the other thing too with this cheese is that you know here I just got the larger slices. It will be shredded in, in order to um, cook easier in the recipe. All right, here I have gone ahead and spooned in one cup of the Greek yogurt, and then I sort of topped it off with uh, a little bit um, of the, the chicken broth, and then I just want to 
kind of go ahead and get a good mix here. Kind of see how it comes uh, out consistency wise. So I don't want it too runny um, with you know adding in the chicken broth, but I want it enough to where it will have you know, what uh, would be that chicken flavor. So trying to just sort of by memory think about how that uh, the smell and the and the thickness um, of the cream of chicken soup would be. Just give that a little sniff there. Probably needs a little more of the broth. Is it? Yeah, you know, I could kind of just more smell the, the sort of uh, what seems like a slight lemony flavor of the uh, or scent of the Greek yogurt. Let's just go ahead and put a little more of the broth in there. That's why I started with just the the eight ounces, you know, the one cup of the <clears throat> yogurt. Because typically those cans are about ten and a half ounces, so just kind of, like I said, playing with it a little bit, eyeballing it a little bit. Uh, I'm not terribly worried if it gets a little too thin, simply because um, I'm actually, you know, I'm, I'm putting in more other kinds of ingredients anyway. Like, you know, really the recipe calls for a cup and a half of chicken. I'm doing two cups. Let's see how. Yeah, so a little bit more of the, you know, the smell of chicken, but still, I think I just want to go ahead and give it a little more here. Might even be taking it closer to that ten and a half ounces that the can of soup would have been. In fact, you know what? I was just thinking it might be okay if I just cut down on the amount of milk that goes in if it is if it is too too runny. I think I will leave it at, at that. So kind of looking at this little container where I, I poured up the, um, <clears throat> the chicken broth anyway, it's got a little cup mark and so I've used maybe about half of what I poured in there. So we're looking at you know maybe about a half a cup of the chicken broth put in there with that, that cup of, uh, of yogurt. Here I'm going ahead and putting the uh, cheese, I'm kind of breaking it up just a little bit just so it'll kind of fit down into the food processor well. Um, I don't have like a hand grater and the, the reason being, uh, you know, with using the food processor, um, I mean, it's just, yes, it is easier and actually as you'll see as we keep, you know, if I keep making these videos is I actually use the food processor a good bit um, when I'm making different recipes, so it didn't make sense just to, to go out and get also a, a hand grater, um, although you, know, you could certainly use one. Um, you know, they're, they're fairly inexpensive. Um, but also this um, you know, particular food processor was as well. I, like I said, I'm, I'm living on a budget, and so um, uh, you know, I didn't get you know, the highest end of, of any kind of equipment here. So we'll go ahead and you know, lock that in, and then you know, kind of pulsating it here. And now, if I end up with a little bit more uh, than the cup that it calls for, that's fine. I mean. <laughs> You know, who doesn't want more cheese in their in their cheesy casserole, right? Okay, I have washed and patted dry the eggplant and now I'm going to chop it uh, 
you know, dice it up. And so the first thing would be to cut off this top end here. And uh, we'll just set it aside for right now. And then I'm going to just cut off this sort of small portion here to start with. And even cut it in half. And then this will give me an area for making some slices. Sorry, I'm not, you know, I'm not an experienced chef, so it's not as though I you know, can, uh, can slice and things as, as quickly and smoothly as they can, right? I'm just semi in my own kitchen, you know, making my making my stuff. Um, which I said didn't line up quite right. Alright. So especially if you're not um, very practiced at it, you know, definitely take your time with it uh, to make sure that you're being careful. Alright, so just cutting it up like this in these small bits and I'll get to uh, you know the rest of it okay okay so here we have our ingredients kind of all laid out um, the oven is preheating to 350 degrees and so I've got my two cups of the you know, the chopped up chicken um, and then <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and add in this, I mean, here's the great thing, right? It's really, you just dump everything together and mix it up, all right? So here is that, um, you know, cup of yogurt with, uh, you know, maybe about half a cup of the chicken broth mixed in. So we're gonna put that mix in here. So in a way, it doesn't necessarily matter what, what order you put stuff in. Um, like I said, because really you just mix it all up and you stick it in the oven. I've got my uh, can of chopped mushrooms, which is drained, right? So that's the thing too is you know draining those mushrooms. And then the pimento, which was also drained. Um, of course, I mean it still retains a little bit of liquid because it's a little harder than than say the can of mushrooms to to drain it. Alright, I've got my, a uh, little bit more cup of cheese, I, you know, kind of tapped it down to then get the rest of it sort of in there, so I have the one uh, measuring cup, it's this size. I ended up, because of how much of the uh, eggplant that I chopped up, it's actually a little more than two cups, it's, it kind of, you know, comes to close to the top of this, so I'd say, that's probably, you know, around two and a half cups of the eggplant. Toss that in there. Uh, one of the things I forgot to mention earlier was the, um, the salt, the kosher salt. Uh, I'm going to take this off to get my curry powder out. Uh, so it calls for, you know, the recipe calls for a teaspoon. It's still of a rounded teaspoon right here. And honestly, like I said, I really kind of like it. So I'm going to go ahead and give um, n not quite another teaspoon. So I guess if you put those two together, it would be like two level teaspoons of curry powder in there. And then I do need a teaspoon of salt as well. So um, I, I do like to use kosher salt and quite a few things. There's just... There's something that's sort of looks clean uh, tasting about kosher salt to me. All right, put that in there, and then we still need a cup of almond milk. So let me get this cup here. Pour that in, and then we just mix all this up and put it into the oven it's heated and it's going through and making sure you have everything thoroughly mixed uh, that we don't have just a whole bunch of curry on just one area and none on another yeah so just get kind of an eye for 
worry about how much is you know, kind of mixed up in here. And sort of kind of sort of run the spoon across the top, sort of flatten things back out. I I gotta tell you, I'm having a good feeling about this. I really am. So uh, we'll pop it in the oven in just a moment. All right, so the casserole just finished cooking. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, you can hear it sizzling there. So I, you know, covered it with foil before putting it in, and it cooked for an hour, and it just dinged. So I just want a little look. Ooh, yeah, those juices are. Oh wow, that's really. Really kind of soupy. Hmm. Okay, so it has set for about, uh, oh, close to 10 minutes. <clears throat> and it is still you know, pretty soupy, so the workaround I'm going to give it is go ahead and using a slotted uh, spoon here to, to get out what I'm going to eat. One of the things is just, I'm really hungry, so I don't want to wait around. <laughs> um, which, you know, it might just really kind of help to, to you know, keep that chicken nice and, and juicy by having it uh, kind of in that, you know, cooking that much liquid. All right, so, you know, here's how it looks. Nice little, you know, pop of color here with the pimento and such. All right, so again, let's kind of give this a shot and see... What it's like, especially when I get some of that eggplant, since that's something new for me too. The flavor's, ooh, yeah, the flavor's good. Let me just get a little bit more of that eggplant, kind of get a feel for that texture, because, you know, the texture's a little different since it's not noodles. Okay, I really like that. I mean, I might need to check on, you know, what adjustments might need to be made to kind of get rid of that extra liquid, um, although that's not really <clears throat> affecting it that much. And it's probably just, you know, that it is a vegetable, you know, and so probably losing some of, uh, you know, of its, kind of running off some of, of its own, uh, uh, you know, juices that come from it. <clears throat> but, uh, so, I'll tell you what, um, yeah, give that a shot. That's got a really nice flavor there. 